Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, and welcome to Grow Song of the Evertree, a game that officially came out at the end of last year, actually. And I wanted to cover it on the channel since its release, but I've just been busy, like always, with a bunch of other projects. So now I finally got the chance to get some time to do this. So this game is more of like basically i'm going to be uh putting it under like the harvest moon story of seasons farming uh section in my channel because it's kind of like that it's not like harvest moon literally but it has farming slash crafting slash questing elements kind of like simulation like stuff like that so yeah it's, it's a pretty fun game i played a little bit of it um you know just to kind of like do a little test run of it and it's pretty damn good all right so audio's good let's take a look at these control stuff up really quickly I think we're good with all of this I don't really want to you know mess with any of this um, I am gonna turn off the vibration though um, camera so that's fine text print speed fastest yeah that's good okay sure we'll just go ahead and apply that and we can go back and we are going to do a new game let's do this alchemy is the basis of all technology oh yeah alchemy that's another thing too in this game in another time, long forgotten to history, our people were explorers, sailing the cosmos, following the song in their hearts. Their journey led them to the song's source. The source of all life, Miora. Emanating from the boughs of the Evertree. It was there beneath the tree's branches they made their home. Here they thrived, living peacefully in the shade of the Evertree. Their every need met through the song of Miora. They learned to shape the song and call this art alchemy. They became artisans, architects, and champions of industry. And their humble village grew into a grand city. Though the people flourished, all was not well with the Evertree. Darkness had coiled around its heart, and discord wove its way into the song of Miora. On the dawn of the last day, the song shattered, and the great city fell silent. And in that silence, something new took root. The withering. Ever hungry, all-consuming. It overwhelmed the Evertree and destroyed their once great city. Homeless and heartbroken, their connection to the song severed. The people fled to the far reaches of the cosmos. But all is not lost, even in the darkest of times. One lone voice, one young Everhart alchemist remained. Determined to push back the withering. To restore the song of Miora. And live in harmony with the Evertree once more. And that right there sets up the premise for Grow Song of the Evertree. To be honest, it's nice that it has at least a story. A lot of this, uh, these types of games in this genre don't necessarily have a story. But uh, this one 
does, and it's, you know, it's pretty good, like, it's a nice premise. Yeah, you can argue it's pretty generic, you know, like the, you know, most generic type of story in most video games, but at least it's something. Anyway, after this loading screen, we should be, um, getting introduced to, you know, the first, like, actual opening cutscenes, and, you know, just setting up more of the premise for the actual story. It's a long loading screen. Some loading screens in this game do take a long time. That is one of the downsides of the game. The loading is pretty bad, I will say. Um, if they continue being this bad in, you know, in the future, I may just cut them out because that was long. That was like almost a whole minute, it felt like. Probably like a good 40, 50 seconds of loading there. That's a long time. That's a lot of loading. I will say, it is beautiful. Uh, there are some parts like right here we just saw. That's not you, your phone lagging when you're watching this video. The game actually does lag in certain areas, like it freezes a little and goes like really slowly. Um, it's almost like the Switch has a hard time handling the game or something, I don't know. Uh, but that was happening to me too while I was playing this on my own at first. So it sometimes will happen, unfortunately. Usually it's more in the beginning of cutscenes that is still kind of loading. The world suit is almost ready. Oh wait, sorry. The, the world suit's almost ready, book. I say it's time we make we wake the apprentice. Can we let them sleep in just a little longer, Copper Top? The poor deer is exhausted. They've been working nonstop for days. We're gonna wake up, given all the apprentice has done so far. Don't you think they ought to be awake to see the world tr seed completed? I was gonna say the world tree. Ah uh, yes, good point. I doubt they'd want to miss that. Oh, did it wake you up, dear? And here we are in the beginning, in our little house. Good morning, dearie. Yes, good morning, apprentice. There is much to get started on if... Let's give the poor deer time to freshen up. Copper Top, just look at their hair. And my word, is that drool on their face? Oh yes, rather a lot, in fact. Don't worry, dear. Take a few moments to, uh, to yourself. We can talk when you're ready. Okay, so we can actually set up our character however we want to. Um, we can do male. We're going to do male. Um, we're going to do... Well, our name, obviously, we're going to change this. We're going to go ahead and use our name that we always use, and that is Shiny. Okay, that's it for this one here. I don't really care about voice. I mean, I'll still keep it like that, but whatever. Shapes, you can pick, like, the shape of your character. Uh, you know, we'll do, we'll do middle, I guess. You can do, like, the hourglass shape as well. I'm going to do that. Um... Now we'll do, hold on. I'll do that one, that's fine. Skin tone, that's pretty accurate with my skin tone, maybe this one. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Uh, face. We'll keep that like that. There's also accessories, if you want accessories. We're gonna say no, no, I don't wear glasses. Um, eye color. Usually my eyes are like brown. Wait, what, what do you mean usually? <laughs> they are. What the, what the hell? Hairstyle. That's actually accurate to my hair. I usually have this similar to this kind of hair. Like I kind of spike up the front of the hair a little bit. I go like that. Facial hair. I don't really have facial hair. And if I do, sometimes it's very light. I'm going to say no. Hair color. It's also brown. We're going brown with like everything here apparently. And that's how I look. Sure, why not? Let's just begin like that. Have a look around, okay? Looks like someone wants to talk to you. Use the left stick to move characters. So yeah, you can use the right stick to look around. And then you can use the, the left stick to walk. And here we have it. A perfectly crafted world seed. The apex of the Everhard alchemist's art and our means of restoring the Evertree to good health again. Jolly good work recreating the recipe from scratch, Aww. I say. There are some impressive alchem alchemical misfires along the way, mind you. Remember the frogs, Coppertop? 
How could I forget? The taste still has to love my mouth. Anyway, now that the world seed is ready, all we need to do is plant it and wait until it sprouts. And if it doesn't, well, what's our plan? Panic? No, Coppertop. No, no, you're right. It's clearly going to work. If you'd like to have a chat before we go, perhaps over a lovely cup of tea, Coppertop and I are here for you. Tea's out, I'm afraid. We use the last of it in the world seed. Oh, well, we're still happy to chat. World seed? The world seed is a culmination of all our efforts, Apprentice. You see, since the dawn of time, the Evertree has nurtured miniature garden worlds in its branches. When properly tended to, these bountiful worlds would bloom, scattering the seeds of creation, Miora, across the cosmos. Alas, when the withering overtook the tree, the branch worlds were smothered, and so was the flow of Miora. That's where the world seed comes in. Theoretically, it can grow a new world in the branches of the Evertree. Planting that seed and restoring the Evertree to good health is our top priority. Do you have any other questions? Let's just go. We kind of already got the premise of everything happening here. World Seed, a seed that has the power to grow new worlds. And don't forget your alchemist tools, dear. You'll need them to take care of the budding World Seed. Ah, oh, yes, yes. We, we, we can't forget that, right? Damn, look at all this stuff here. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to do uh, Interact. Axe. Mallet. Sickle. Watering can, seed bag, speech bubble allows you to communicate with folks over long distances. All right, press minus to view your inventory while you're there. Why not reorder the tools in your toolkit? You press minus, and here we go. So yeah, you can definitely reorder stuff if you want to. Um, I'm not really sure what order I'm going to be doing these things in. Um, like if I put, I don't know, like maybe like that. Probably, we'll see. Right oh, world seed, check. Alchemist tools, check. Charming companions, check and check. I say it's time to head outside and plant that world seed. Yeah, sure. Whoa, what is happening? Well, oh no, no, no. The withering must have reached the valley. Are we doomed? I think we might be doomed. Shani will save us quickly. Use her tools to clear a path to the door. Perhaps something can be done from the outside. If not, remember me like this. Panicked and shrieking. Okay, press L or R to use your tool, so you get to switch. Uh, we're going to do this here and just swing. Button move the, yep, I know. You can break everything. There we go. Smashing, absolutely smashing. Exit. That's it. We cleared all this debris. Alright. Oh my god. What is this giant creature? That's the one that made all that noise. And all that debris falling. Oh, that that great winged creature. I thought the withering was upon us. Coppertop, be gentle. You know, you start to froth when you get too agitated. How many times have I told you? How many times? I ask you. The alchemy house is not a place to perch. Coppertop, you're being very rude. That creature has a name, you know. Kazumi? I'll just keep it like that. Besides, where else is Kazumi going to land? The poor deer's roots has been overrun with the withering. Shiny, you may be able to coax Kazumi down from the roof. Why don't you fetch the saddle from the perch just over there? Uh, sure. You can always walk over to the saddle, but I recommend pressing X. Why walk when you can frolic? Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you can jump. Your character actually moves very fast in this game. Like, he runs pretty fast. Come over here, I'm gonna interact. Kazumi is ready to fly. Press up to take to the skies and choose your destination. Alright, we're going to press up. And we are going to go to the next location. This is like the, you know, this is where you get to choose your, the place where you want to go to. So there's the tree right over here. Seed planter. And then down there, there's the town. Uh, we're going to select this one here and go this way. Here we are, the perfect little planter for your world seed. Ooh, this is terribly exciting. My pages are all a flutter. Yes, and I'm positively effervescent. This is your moment, Shiny, where all your hard work pays off. 
tuck the world seed into the planter and then stand back. Here we go. Let's plant it. Let's see if it works. The shelter of the familiar. Behold, the world freshly sprouted. I knew you had it in you, shiny. Um, is it meant to be so mucky? Oh, shoot. It seems there's no escaping the destruction of the withering, even all the way up here. So it's a bit of a fixer-upper. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't cure. I'm afraid he used up the last of the elbow grease in the world seed recipe. What I mean is, between us and those trusty alchemist tools, Shiny has got this. Do you really think this mess could be turned around? Truly, I do. With a little care and attention from Shiny, this place will be as good as new. Okay. So... From this point, we get to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, basically, these things, these are withering. Uh, weeds can harm good plants, but you can't just chop them with your sickle. Oh no, you'll have to yank them out with the root. He, okay. So we're going to press A, and you actually have to press it repeatedly to take them out. Verdant Folly, common stinkweed. There we go, that's another one. And then just pull them out. Okay. Here we got some stuff we can smash. You can use the axe with a mallet to just break the stuff. When you break the stuff, you do get some of these things. Miora, a motive of the rawest material in the universe. And yeah, okay. Talk about that later. Keep getting this. Yeah, so you can plant seeds, which I definitely will. I'll go ahead and show off that. In just a sec, once I break all this stuff, of course. Okay. Pretty much broke it all. So now we're going to switch over to this here. We're going to press plant. And then you can do the... Um, watering can okay gonna go here <clears throat> you simply hold Y and you water it have to wait and see what it grows into good garden requires plenty of patience and even more fertilizer okay so there's those done right there um, just gonna keep moving along Okay, so this here is withering grass. For this, you actually want to use the sickle, because this ends up giving you some, you know, some good stuff here. We'll take all this. Okay, here I guess we're going to go ahead and plant this stuff here, sure. And then water it. This is fun. Nice and relaxing, you know? But there is a lot of work to do here. Just gotta do one th one thing at a time. Okay, then there's, there's Kazumi right there. Okay, here we're gonna go ahead and use the, the sickle. Cut that. And there's two we can do here. We'll talk about these things later though, like Miora's and stuff. I don't wanna... You know, talk about too much stuff right now. You can water stuff at the same time, by the way, if you are close enough to both, which is really cool. It saves you time if you do that. And there's this up here. Go ahead and smash that, sure. Wait, was there actually a... No, there wasn't. I thought there was like a thing up there that we can plant a seed, but no. Okay, and over here there's, ooh, there's a lots of, uh, ooh, lots of stuff here. Definitely gotta pull all this out of the way. Okay, and then we have <clears throat> these here that we gotta cut. Uh, oh, there's this giant thing here. At least take uh, three hits, actually. They give a lot of stuff. Fossil Tooth. That's a new one there. Okay, I think. Yeah, so we did all that already. And then we got Flourishing Chunk as well. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Oh, and we got Fool's Gem as well. Yeah, those boulders come with a lot of stuff. It's pretty good. Do well, press Zeal, and I'll guide you to the next spot in need of care. 
Yeah, so <clears throat> if you ever don't know like what to do, just simply press the button and they will actually point to the next thing you gotta do. That requires care. Uh, what am I doing? It's gonna keep watering. Give me that. There we go. Let's run all the way up to the top. Oh wait, this is a spot right here. Can't even see this. What the hell? Okay, so one thing I'm gonna just tell you right now is I should probably change the order of the stuff that I'm <clears throat> doing here. We're gonna go like that. Let's do that. Okay, give me that stuff, and that part's cleared. And there's actually nothing else up here. Okay, so I guess we can just keep going. Everything here has been cleared. Oh, there's this. Nice little random rock right there, that's okay. So now we just have the whole right side over here. Over here. That we haven't yet done everything else that we have done. We like we planted all this stuff. Okay, you can give me that. Can I just smash everything here one by one? I'll leave that there for now because I have the I have the hammer. Let's focus on one thing at a time, you know. Yeah, those give you a lot, as you can see. We got some iron ore there. Okay. All right, now let's go into the... Why did I switch the other way? Sickle. More sickle. Are there more stuff back here? I don't think so. No. Okay. Water that one. Okay, and then this one, we're getting over there, we're almost done with everything to do here. Okay. Now this one, we're gonna plant one, then hold to water. Okay, here we got a bunch of these that we can actually plant. There's actually four here. I think that should complete it. I mean, I'm probably missing a couple things here and there, but... For the most part, that's kind of it. Oh, there's a shiny thing over here. Wait, why is this shiny from far? Ah, uh, let's do ZL. Oh, I didn't go this way. That's right. Totally skipped past this. So is that all that there is here? Looks like there is. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. There was one, one more. Yeah, I need to do one more. Looking healthier than before. Seems to put the small on the Miura, yet something isn't right. Don't get copper top wrong, dear. I'm sure this will be lovely in time. It's just that it isn't growing like it did before when people were still connected to the song. When the Everheart alchemists care for the Evertree and Miura fill the air, do you suppose that is why nothing's happening? When the connection to the Song of Miura was lost, the Evertree stopped growing? It is possible. Long ago, everything was in harmony. The people were happy and they cared for the world around them. The Song was everywhere. The Evertree was magn magnificent. But now... Shiny, are you okay? What's the matter, Shiny? Cover top, shh. Can you feel it? Press ZR to sing. But how? How's that possible? You found a way to, connect, to reconnect the song of Miora. This is marvelous. This is very marvelous. This is miraculous. 
Shiny, do you think you could do it again over there on those plants? Uh, sure, I can try. Tranquil. Okay. Wait, what did you tell me? Over here? I'm just going wherever I find stuff. So they need to have a plant icon in order to do that. Um, if they don't have the plant icon, oh, we got... Oh, that's cool. Like this one. If they have a plant icon, then they're ready. Um, if they don't have it, though, then you actually have to wait until the little plant icon appears because there's a clock icon, too. See, in the clock icon, that's not going to work. Flower plot. Okay, then I think this... Oh, wait, we never planted here because the, the cutscene interrupted us. That's right. Okay. Now we're gonna go, I guess, over here. Yeah, this one's fine. What was that? That's a clock. How fantastic. Today has been truly remarkable, hasn't it? I bet there's a lot in your mind, Shane. Why don't you come back down to the house for a chat and have a good night's rest? Just give Kazumi a whistle when you're ready to return. Alright. It says now hiring. Is that all I can do? I think that might actually be all I can do. Wow, we're getting a bunch of different good items and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I believe we're done here. So we're just gonna press up to go back. And you can select home by going down, or actually, I can't can even do that. Or we can just press town to go back into the town. There we go. Oh. All right, so. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez. Just like the ever your body needs time to recover each day, so when you're ready, return to the alchemy house. Got it. So if you press ZL, what does this even do? Huh, just wanted to know. It's not gonna point to stuff if there's like no work, you know, around here. Enter. Shiny, welcome home. Okay. Apprentice, you did it. what I do? The world said it worked. Oh, but what about Shiny reconnecting with the song? Wasn't that a sight to behold? Ooh, and the Miora, it started to flow again. More of a trickle, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess. But if but it was something which is better than nothing. It's all just so exciting. But what of you, Apprentice? There was a big day for you. Is there anything you wanted to discuss? Not really, I think I got... Well, oh, actually, what does it say about Miora? Uh-huh. Go to your actions. Okay, no, I'm just gonna... I'm tired. Good night, dear. Tomorrow is another big day. Yeah. Press A near your bed when you're ready to sleep. Where's my bed? This one? Let's go to bed and sleep. Okay. Hmm. Exactly. I made some good progress today. We support it. The book and copper top sharing scuttle will support Shiny all the way. Hello, dear. Isn't this exciting? In the space of a day, our lights soon became much busier. But to stay on top of these new projects, we're going to need somewhere handy to write everything down. Fortunately for us, I'm pretty useful to writing things down in. So I thought I'd lend a hand and help you keep track of your goals. Let me show you what I mean. Click the complete press right to open the book by which I mean me. Okay. We keep track of information about goals, quests, and districts for you. You can choose which section you would like to explore with left stick. And whenever a new goal pops up, I'll make a note of it within my pages. Select the category with A and browse. Okay. If there are lots of items to explore, you can turn pages with Z, L, and Z, R. As you finish each goal, I'll give you a lovely badge and some prizes. Who says productivity can't be fun, eh? Oh look, Trinit's completed a few goals already. Highlight the completed goal and press A to claim your reward. What I get? Yellow wallpaper. 
Nice, nice. Collect toolkit, receive bug net, receive fishing rod. Get a good night's sleep. Comforting the presence of... Okay, cool. Well, that's good. It says 1 out of 10. Oh. Guess we'll just go back. Oh, by the way, I noticed something kind of small and furry outside earlier. Not quite sure what it is. I hope it's not being rude. Small and furry. Have they truly come back? Shiny, you should go outside and check it out. Just a reminder, slow movements, Johnny. You wouldn't want to scare that thing off when you open the door. I suppose that's true, maybe? I don't know. Oh my word. An Everkin, it really is an Everkin, isn't it, darling? I was afraid we'd seen the last of them with the withering overall the, the tree. Yet here we have one cover, covering in our garden, no less. But why? Skittish, isn't it? Wouldn't want it to poof away before we learn more. I say, Shiny, we must simply find out what the little fellow is doing here. Go talk to the Everkin, Shiny. Uh, sure. I guess I'll do that. Wait, we, we, we did a point. Hurry now and follow that Everkin. Did that point over here? Where you at? I actually don't know. Wait, does this thing tell me where? Is it over here? Oh, here you are. Oh, I see. You're going this way. Secret location discovered. Get back here, quickly, Shiny. Follow that little sweetie. But shouldn't Shiny observe all safety precautions before entering? No time, it's getting away. If you insist, follow the Everkin through the portal, apprentice. Sure. That, did it work? It did not. What? Oh, do I have to press A? God damn it. <laughs> Whoops. Wowzers, you actually followed me through the portal. Phew, I'm glad all that converting worked. Oh, but where are my manners? Welcome to wherever, tree tender. Elderkin, the oldest and probably wisest of us, Everkin really wants to meet you. You can find Elderkin in the middle of the village. Go down the path, veer left, then go straight, then take a slight right and you'll be there. If you get lost, just follow the big glowing beam of light. Okay. Ready to claim. Well, I, I can get a reward already, huh? So basically, if you press... Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Press right on the book for the book. Fall the Everkin. We get a reward. Twenty warm. It's okay. These are all like essence stuff. All right. I haven't looked at these. Clear and harvest. Oh wow! And then world. Oh my god. That's a little crazy. So we have to just go straight through. We made it. Tree Tender, you're here. It's been so long since we've had a, a big Ling visit us in the wherever. It was the ever tree that called us back to Alaria. We heard it whispering. It said that hope still lingered in the heart of one of its children, and here you are. If you have questions, I will help where I can. We were the first younglings tribe sung into being. Thus we were named after the source of our creation, the Evertree. We are, or were, the keepers of the Everhearts tree. As its keepers, we have always been able to communicate with the Evertree. But when the song shattered the withering of Roman's heart, before one sudden they cried out to us one last time. Okay. Then we heard the tree no more. We thought we had failed. There's a lot of things here. Um, I don't think I need to... There's a tree, I mean, not the poor, poor Evertree. Yeah, I don't really want to read all of these. It's just a lot of talking. You kind of get it. They're like the keepers, you know? I'll just do this one. Wherever is our home, it actually goes wherever we want. Oh, that's that's cool. Call us very resourceful. Uh-huh. A long time. We got a question. Okay. While well, you are here, so my Everkin might seek your assistance. Many have never seen a bigling before, so please indulge him if you can. 
But before you leave, take these tools Nero gives to you. What tools are they? Bug net. Fishing rod. Fisher can spend her time at the top of the waterfall. Kajakin stands exasperated in the grove. Bumpkin slenders in the pasture. Watering watering can waits for it in the melon field. You'll find broken flexing up on the hill. Chopkin prepares a soup near the mushroom patch. <clears throat> There's a lot of them, oh my god. Finally, there is Kinderkin, who has seemed rather frazzled of late. Won't say a word to me, maybe talking to an outsider will help. Go speak with him. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of different people we need to, um, you know, talk to. Okay, uh, we can we can claim this now. We spoke with Elder King. We got a ooh, statue. Cool. Alright. Oh yeah, this one too. Because we got all the stuff now. Hanging lamp post. Okay. And there's this. When you're ready, exit back to the portal. I don't want to do that. And then we got to help out all of these people. Jesus Christ. That's going to be for next time, though. We've uh, played enough, you know, for this um, first video. Pretty good. Pretty good progress. Why is there an exclamation over there? I don't want to do that. I need to talk to all these people. It's all the beams of light. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.